A large convoy of hundreds of angry farmers driving heavy-duty tractors arrived at the European Union headquarters in Belgium today. Now, leaders were meeting in Brussels to discuss financing for Ukraine. Farmers threw eggs and stones at the European Parliament, also set fires in the area to press EU leaders to do more to help them with taxes and rising costs. Now, while the farmers' crisis is not officially on the agenda of the EU summit, it is expected to be discussed. Similar protests have been held across the EU for most of the week. Farmers blocked traffic arteries across Belgium, France and Italy this week. As you have seen, there is a major farmers' protest um, in, uh, in, in, in Brussels. Um, we need to, uh, to be able to discuss in the Council on, uh, on, this, uh, on this topic because the, the, the concerns that they, are, that they have are partly legitimate. Um, the climate transition is a key priority for our societies. We need to make sure that our farmers can be a partner in this. Uh, they have done incredible efforts over the past years. Over the past years, they have really adapted to the, uh, to the new standards that we, uh, that we have. We have a long way to go, and we need to make sure that they can be a partner in this and, and, and that they can be part of the uh, discussion. Uh, because we are protesting today uh, against uh, so many rules uh, from Europe. It's too many for uh, doing a normal uh, farming. No, we have a lot of hope. It's just if you see with how many people we are here today, and if you see it's all over Europe, so we must have hope. We must have hope that these people uh, see that farming is necessary. It's the food, you know. We must have these guys to let them see when you need us. Help us because so far is it now. Eh? We need help for normal living.